Okay, so last episode we did Morago, Morago. Now it's time for Aquinas. Arriving. Ah, this map. Such a good looking map. Definitely one of my favorite maps in the game. Best music as well. Got the best aesthetic and the best music. Wow, I didn't realize how many chests this uh, this map has. My god. You know what, I'm gonna... I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I will fight the Kraken over here. So I'm gonna place a healing aura right here, just in case. That's something you want to be prepared for. So my plan is, um, would you be surprised if I said I was just going to build a bunch of LPs and DSTs in a single spot? Yeah, I thought not. There we go. Yeah, as I've said previously, these lost quest, or I keep calling them lost quest maps. These lost, oh my god, these shard maps, Eternia shard maps are not going to be the most interesting builds you've ever seen. Quite the opposite, I think. Remember to put our fish back on this time. So yeah, it's only going to really be crystalline dimension when things get a bit more interesting, I think. And even then, it's going to take until, like, the final boss or the, the old one fight. That's the only real interesting part of CD. Especially with our current stats, we, uh... We will face roll CD pretty easily. There will be some room for error though on the boss with my performance. If I make a mistake, then it'll actually cost me. Hmm. I'm going to want to get rid of that uh, ensnare aura, I think. Or move it, at the very least. Just move it forward. Move it, like, here. Yeah, that's better. Just so it's... Uh, it still kind of is... 
Eh, it's not not bad enough. Someone asked me in the last episode if I used the... Uh... Actually, was it in the... I, I don't remember what episode it was on, but someone asked me recently what... Uh, if I used the wheel macro. I mean, they said Jester macro, but I assume that just means, like, the wheel. Where it'll just, like, wheel whatever combination you want. And the answer is no. I did answer, I did respond, but like my answer is no. And generally I just, I have used that macro and I just find it to be a waste of time. It takes like a decent amount of time to set it up so it actually works for you in the first place because you have to change the color settings for your specific monitor. And I don't know, like, wheeling just isn't that big of a deal anyway. Like, it's not, it's not hard. You have to be pretty, I mean, trust a Dungeon Defenders player to be that lazy, I suppose. Makes sense. Not shaming anyone who does use it, obviously, it's just... It is too much, it is, in my opinion, it's more effort to set it up than just, like, wheel manually all the time. Plus, I don't believe there's any way for it to work with extra characters in, which is where that kind of matters the most. At least I didn't find a way for it to work with, with extra splits in. Because the way that that would be, like, really OP is, you know, on really difficult survivals when you just want to... You know, you're not armor farming, you're just clearing the map with, say, like, three jesters in, all wheeling damage all, and just killing everything, like, every ten seconds, or, you know, dealing 50% damage to everything every ten seconds. You do that on, or, the most popular uses for that is, uh, like, when you're doing crystalline dragon runs, or pirate invasion or Emerald City. Some of the other CR maps as well, but no one really runs the other CR maps. And it's never super necessary. It is kind of, it is necessary for Pirate Invasion, but not really for any other map. Just makes things a bit faster. Let's just get this healing aura fully upgraded. That's probably all I'm gonna bother with. It always kind of bothered me a little bit on this map how the interactable things that give you extra mana are different on this map. Like, it's uniform on all the other maps. It's all like propeller cats, shroomite, and donkeys. But on this map, it's snails and seahorses for some reason.
Personally, I think I prefer the seahorses. Uh, I don't know, actually. They look a bit deranged. Take a look at the snail again. Oh yeah, I much prefer the snail. He's kind of depressed though. He's so sad. Or well, maybe he's just bored. He could just be bored. I think I prefer the snails. Speaking of wheeling, this might have been something I mentioned before, but a, a little tip is when you have two of the same, say if you have two swords as your two first icons you need to click, you can press space to count as a click and your actual mouse click at, at the same time, and it'll just do both of them one after another. You don't have to click really fast, you can just press space and click at the same time to do two in a row. And then if you have three lined up in a row, you can uh, press right click and it will click for all three. Like, <clears throat> like just there, I uh, pressed space and left click to do the last two at the same time. That's probably something that everyone knows by now. Probably something you just pick up from experimenting. Or well, maybe not. Some people just like don't experiment, I guess. No harm in mentioning uh, little stuff like that anyway. Just in case. Oh wow, this shoots so slowly. There we go, time for the boss wave now. Now oh, this is a really cool monk weapon. I have never read that I, I might have gotten this like I must have only gotten this once before. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool weapon. Oh, it's got 
boring, generic looking projectiles. So yeah, as you can see here, the big big weakness with the free range chicken is its range. Something has to be pretty close for it to start attacking. Which is why probably the next the next DPS pet I'm interested in getting, at least a sort of decent ultimate, is going to be the little wizard. Because getting a little wizard, a decent, you know, usable one, is going to enable me to run uh, Tomb of Etheria. And Tomb of Etheria is going to give us access to really good accessories and uh, really good DPS and builder weapons. So after I'm done with CD, I think the plan is going to be to um, to do Spooky uh, spooky Bay, Spooktacular Bay on campaign, obviously. And then uh, on survival. Okay. I did in fact not need to build a a healing aura. This is pretty laughable. Yeah, okay. Nice. You got a piece of armor from this as well. I forgot about that. You can see the crystal in his mouth. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Did we get an upgrade? Ooh. What the hell? This is actually pretty rare. Like, to get an ultimate Lemurian Halberd is actually pretty rare. And these upgrades as well. What the heck? Okay, then. I did not expect that. I'm actually going to upgrade this. Fun fact, this is one of my favorite, uh, probably my favorite monk weapon. It's too bad it's completely useless though. It has the most blinding projectiles in the game. Look at that. My god. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode. The next episode, we're going to be doing Sky City.